Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are doing a video I have been meaning to do for a long, long time. This is something that the industry really, really needs to improve on. Uh, this this is going to be a video of me criticizing a lot of things in the industry. Um, in particular, the use of M390 and 20CV in knives. Uh, and I'm going to be using data to back up, and, and personal use, to back up my, my use of these and why they're not all, why the steel isn't cracked up what it needs to be and why the industry should change in, me, in a different direction. All right, so to start off, we've got some 20 CV on a Neutron 2. We got Benchmade's 20 CV, Kershaw's 20 CV, which as you can see, I have you know pretty good amount of use on. So I've definitely sharpened it a bunch. This M390 from Asher. I have some Spyderco M392, which I've sharpened. 20CV from Spyderco. I have a couple 20CV from Spyderco. And then a M390 Rat Reblade from, uh... oh man, uh, what was it? House of Knives, or, or Way of Knife, uh, House of Blades is the two that uh, partner together. Took me a second to remember that. Okay, so let's get into it. 20CV and M390, they're on everything. I, it feels like every week there's a new knife coming out in titanium and M390. Like, it's just the flavor, what's the flavor of the month? Uh, here's a slip joint in titanium and M390. What's the next flavor? Oh, how about some more titanium and M390? You know what? We know you guys weren't bored enough of them. even more M390 and 20CV. The industry has been moving in this direction for a long time of using 20CV as a premium upgrade to, say, a steel like S35VN or even S30V. I think that this is the wrong move personally uh even as someone who has used tool steels and has had them even rust sometimes on him i think that the way the industry is going about using this steel is incorrect now i'm going to point out some 20 cv and some m390 that i like first and why i like it 20 cv from trm performs better than just about most production 20 CV, but even it falls short of its actual potential of what it can achieve. And I've, I base this off of cut test data and, and real use. I have noticed that a uh, crewer smokes every single one of these, to be honest, it smokes every single one of these, but Crewware isn't as popular as it should be, and 20CV is, for example. 20CV is used on everything from slip joints to folders from Benchmade, Spyderco, even imports, you know, or, or budget Kershaws. It's used on everything. And I'm going to go through some reasons why it shouldn't be that way. All right. So first off, 20 CV being used at low Rockwell or difficulty heat treating, all right? A lot of these Kershaw links have been tested at 58, 59 Rockwell. Well, M390 can easily go to above 62 Rockwell and Peter's heat treat will gladly do 62 Rockwell at no extra charge. At no extra charge, they'll do 62 Rockwell. But companies keep putting out this subpar 20CV and M390 that is even below 60 Rockwell. And it performs w worse 
then some steel is like 154 cm. Now let me grab some data to, to back this up, all right? Uh, so we have a ZT in 20 CV that did 172.05 feet of cardboard. You know what else does 172.05 feet of cardboard? Uh, I'm pretty sure my OS 8 that I did a cut test on on my Rat 2 that was uh, 30 bucks. It was 30 bucks. For a little while there, you could get them for $22. So right away, save yourself, uh, you know, almost $200 and go with the Rat if you're going off of edge retention. And you know, OS 8's a stainless steel and it is easier to sharpen than 20 CV, so. All right, Kershaw M390, 184.30 feet. Well, you know what does better than 184.30 feet? Bucks 420 high carbon, which I got to cut at 192 feet of cardboard. Benchmade 20 CV. All right, this was a different uh, cut test. I, uh, these were, I think, Tom's cut test. I, I could be wrong on that, but it's from the data sheet. This is from uh, Gerald's, Tom, and Steve's data sheet. All right, so we have Benchmade 20 CV at 154.3 feet. Well, you know what? I'll cut that. Benchmade 154 CM at 166.2 feet. And I will say this, 154 CM has a beautiful grit progression. It polishes really nicely, just like 20 CV. Polish, it takes a polish really well. And to be fair, with the production heat treats, 154 CM is almost a better steel. Actually, I would say, I would argue that it is. We M390, right? This is some of that Chinese stuff. People rave about the Chinese Wii and Civivi knives. 180 feet. Did worse than Kershaw and ZT. Or sorry, right about there with Kershaw and ZT. And Microtech. Microtech knives are supposed to be hard use, and they're using a high chromium, high vanadium stainless steel. All right, well, that does 180.6 feet. All right, there were a few over 200. I believe there was a... There's a Spyderco PM2, which I've been talking to Gerald about, and he loves it because it'll cut over 400 feet of cardboard and it has very good edge stability. Right? Which... When you do small production or small custom heat treats of 20 CV and M390, they can turn out to over 62. I mean, look at transparent knives, reblades. They're all over 62 Rockwell. I believe there are six, some of them are even 63 and higher, right? And he says that steel is phenomenal. And I'm inclined to believe him. I, I think really what this is, is a improper use of the steel for the improper knife design, but also trying to fit a steel into a niche in which it does not fit in. Yes, 20 CV when heat treated properly. And who knows, when they did the prototypes and they ran fewer blades, maybe these this steel performed very, very well and they were blown away by it. But it's just what the everyday user is getting isn't very good. And not to mention, I've noticed M390 and 20 CV is very, very prone to edge burning. Very, very prone to edge bur burning. All right, so for, for example, we see 20 CV like this on this Benchmade Griptilian thrown onto a hard use knife. Now, M390 is less tough than S30V. So you're getting it thrown onto a hard use platform like the Griptilian, right? Which plenty of people EDC a Griptilian, but it's built as a work knife. Look how thick the blade stock is on the back. It's a mid saber grind you know, on a drop point. This this is a work blade shape. Do you know how much, when I sharpen, I, how much of these I come in and the blade's all chipped up, you know, or or the very tip is chipped. And you know how much S30V I get where, yeah, there's damage, but I would say arguably way less than the 20 CV. They're heat, they heat treat it so low and they throw it into hard use knives like the Griptilian and people think, yeah, they can use it, but... It's not meant to be that kind of steel. It has 18% chromium by volume. Remember guys, the more chromium you get, the more is turned into chromium carbide, which reduces the toughness of your knife, right? It, it, it increases edge retention, definitely, but it's going to decrease the toughness of your knife. For example, this, right, this is, uh, Budget 20 CV M390 CTS 204P, right? We can kind of, they're 
called the three sis or three princesses or the trinity whatever you want to call them right this stuff i i mean I, I will say it sharpens nicely but i think that's more so due to composition of the steel it it, it sharpens nicely and it, it makes the knife seem like a really good deal but you know what i'd rather have for 90 bucks you honestly could give me S30V heat treated at 60 plus Rockwell or even 154 CM heat treated at 60 or CPM 154 heat treated at like 62 Rockwell, which I know Peter's heat treat can do. They can do 62 Rockwell. Most custom makers can do 64 plus with one, uh, CPM 154. You know, I've seen them at 64. You know, maybe 64 plus is a stretch, but I've seen 64 Rockwell. If you ran that at a higher Rockwell, it would be a phenomenal carry steel, and you're not having to sacrifice as much. Really, you're not having to sacrifice much at all. And you can sharpen it on water stones. What, what really sucks about this is good M390 is a good steel, but most of what you're getting is not. Like, this is 60 HRC M390. In use, from what I've seen, I sharpened rather well, I will say. It sharpened rather well. This is from Asher Knives, and the design is beautiful. But I think that for a nice EDC knife, yes, a stainless is nice to have, but pushing a steel like M390 into like a hard use category, I wouldn't do. Or even a category, because in my, with my experience, M390 is very prone to chipping very very prone to chipping i've had it chip opening cardboard boxes or i have had it chip opening plastic containers whereas with crewware or even s30v i haven't had that problem at all this is a 60 rockwell rat 2 reblade and it looks very good because m390 takes a great polish and honestly on a knife like this as long as it is 60 plus, it should still be an upgrade to the OS 8 and the D2. You know, D2 is another one of those steels where they push it into production and it just doesn't perform that well. You know, and, and, and the only reason I own this Spyderco 20CV is I've actually heard really good things about the Seki City. And I think when I've seen them tested, they're all like 60 plus easily or 60.5 plus. So not really worried about this performing not very well. I think it'll actually perform rather well, surprisingly well, especially for the price you pay. So we're going to set this guy off to the side. And Spyderco M390, I've seen some good results with Spyderco M390 that would really, I think, make me, that's why I got this knife was, you know, maybe it's going to make me rethink my thoughts on the steel. But I, I think what happened with M390 is a lot of people want a stainless steel on their EDC knives, right? And so they don't rust, right? And so I think it, it caught a following with some people who got some good knives and they highly recommended it uh, because it didn't tarnish. And it is very stainless. I'll give the steel that. And it polishes very nicely. So it looks good when you take Instagram photos of your nice mirror polished edge on your M390 knife. Uh, and, and a lot of customs went this direction or hard use knives are using M390. And I really think it was the wrong turn because you're using a steel that has even less toughness than S30V. And then to make up for that toughness, you are heat treating it softer so that it's not a total chip a maniac, right? That uh, you're, you're really providing a subpar product to your customer. And, and that's why I, all this hype about M390 and, you know, and seeing every week another knife in M390. And I see people go crazy for it. And it just lets me know that, that I, it's, it's hard to, I guess, phrase this diplomatically, that either you have not used your knife enough or tried enough steals to know that you are getting a bad deal with, I mean, if, if you have like Asher Knives, his, he showed his 60 plus, which I knew was better than this, uh, about the same as this, 
and possibly better than this. So I decided to roll the die, you know, for 90 bucks. We'll see how it does. So far, it hasn't blown anything out of the water. It has performed better than their S35VN. But uh, I just think that really this is just a video of me complaining of this steel and, and why I dislike it. It, it chips. It's, it's never heat treated to the proper Rockwell. Um, they tend to have to heat treat the night soft to make up for the lack of toughness, which then gives you a lack of edge retention. There has been a lot of use of it in Chinese knives and people think they're getting an amazing product when really they're not, or they're buying a $400 knife with M390 and it's soft and you're not getting the steel that you need. I think it was a steel that was overhyped, used a lot, but really the steels that need to take its place are like a properly heat treated um, S30V, like you could go higher on S30V, honestly, and, and still get great performance. Tool steels like Crewwear, 4V, 3V, right, should really take its place on knives that are hard use, right? You, sh you should really be using a hard use steel. And as far as like a good EDC steel, S30V is phenomenal. And honestly, from what I'm seeing from this, it'll, with a proper heat treat, I've seen some stuff that'll outdo this. I've seen Tom had some that did 240 feet. Most S30V will do 180 to 200 feet. But from all this data, what I'm seeing is just a steel that you pay premium prices for and you're marketed a premium product, but you're swindled in the actual product that you get. And I hate seeing people swindled because there are just steels, like all my tool steels, yeah, they have the possibility to rust, but I know that that's a possibility from them. You can get a DLC coated knife and there's stuff you can put on them. They're easier to sharpen. They hold an edge longer. And for a hard use knife, you should just have a tool steel anyways. You know, a uh, stainless steel on a hard use knife is a bit of a uh, oxymoron. You know, like jumbo shrimp, right? Or like the living dead, stuff like that. It's the proper steel should be used for the proper job. Now, if there's a, on a knife, you know, if, on a knife like this, say M390, right? And if it's heat treated properly to where it performs better than the OS 8, then yeah, you're, you, you know, this wasn't an outrageously expensive knife either. You're getting a good deal, you know? And, and But the problem is, is when it's improperly heat treated, like a lot of the stuff on the market, you're, you're not getting a good deal. And it, and it chips and it, it, it shouldn't be really in hard to use platforms like this. And yes, I know there are people who live by the ocean and corrosion is a real problem for them. It, it really is. But tool steels are just gonna do the job that much better. And there are sprays you can get. There's EDCI, you can put gun oil on your knife. And you know what? If you're really using your knife and it develops rust, just keep using it. And if you have a production knife and it breaks, you can send it either in for warranty and you know, the warranty it, or you just buy another one because if it's a tool you use every day, you'll really get your value worth. You'll get your values worth. And so 20 CV on a knife like this, I don't mind. This this isn't a hard use knife, right? This is a EDC knife. And with from what I've seen, they heat treat it harder. It's fine. But with the way the industry is going of softly heat treating a what needs to be a high hardness stainless steel to really see the value in it and fitting it into, you know, thick behind the edge, where it still chips, uh, burnt edges. It's not really where it needs to be. And I think a steel like Magna Cut hopefully replaces a steel like M390 just because it's stainless, it's tough. You can actually put it in a hard use knife and you're not, you're not sacrificing. You know, you aren't compromising the great value of your product to fit a steel that is hyped in the community. I really think it is steel, a steel that is overhyped especially with what is out there in terms of production. If you have some M390 and 20CV that performs really well, feel free to share it down below. Feel, uh, share your experiences with, with M390, but I really do think that 
steel is overhyped just looking at the data and my carry use i don't think it lasts any longer than anything else and i don't think i should be paying more for it i know it, it, it does cost more to make but i'd honestly just rather have s30v i know where s30v falls any day of the week and i know that most makers are running at 58 to 60. if you're really surprised you get one that's like 60.5 that's a happy surprise, right? If you're surprised with M390, yeah, it might cut 400 feet or it might cut under 100 feet of cardboard. See where I'm going with that? It's just, honestly, for me, kind of unacceptable. And I know it's just been 20 minutes of me complaining, but l let me know your guys' thoughts. You know, this is really a video to start a discussion around this steel, this, this trinity of steels, and why... Uh, maybe some other steels deserve the spotlight, whereas this one has kind of snuck its way in. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll make sure to hit you guys back up. As always, stay sharp.